Hey, Frank Kane here from Sundog Education. Join me for a behind the scenes look at how videos like this are made and what goes into creating a course for you on Sundog Education. Hey, I'm Frank Kane, and let's just show you how the sausage is made. Uh, first of all, when you see videos like this where I'm in front of this bookshelf here, uh, you might notice that you never see my left hand. That's because it's holding this remote control for my teleprompter. So let's uh, just go into like selfie mode on my cell phone here and show you what's really going on here. So here's how things look from my end uh, without all the fancy lighting that's optimized for where I'm standing. Uh, from this direction, you can see I look a lot better and that's because we have this ring light over here that's actually illuminating me from the front. And uh, I'm showing you my, my latest uh, toy here. It's a lavalier mic from Rode, or I guess it's pronounced Rode. So you can barely see it there against my black shirt, but uh, that's what I'm using these days for these sort of talking head videos in the library here. And uh, what else can I show you in here? This is the library, by the way. Uh, so just a, a room in my house full of books. I like books. Kind of interesting that um, even though that I make online videos for a living, I prefer to learn from books myself. So kind of what I do is uh, learning from books and translating that into video for you, for people that prefer to watch videos. And you can see there's a lot of uh, science fiction titles in the background here. It's not quite as pretentious as it looks. And uh, up top, we have a bunch of technical books and some of those I've learned from myself. Some of my own books up there too as well. So very cool. Here's my uh, stand in here, a little uh, lighting stand with a hat on top. So that's actually what I use for focusing the camera. I just kind of put that where I'll be standing and use that to dial in the focus on the camera and that way things look good. And there's the camera itself over here. So nothing fancy, it's just a um, Canon T6i, kind of an old camera. Uh, someday I do want to upgrade this to like a 4K one, but one thing you can see is that it has a little teleprompter attachment on it. So that's how I kind of see what I'm saying and don't screw up my words too badly. Uh, basically, you just slip your cell phone in there and there's a little app that you can run to uh, make it turn into a, a teleprompter. It's called Parrot. So if anyone else is making videos, that's a relatively inexpensive way. This just clips right onto your camera lens and allows you to turn any existing camera into a teleprompter. So pretty cool stuff. So that's kind of what goes into these talking head videos. Uh, it's pretty, pretty low tech, you know, just a kind of an old camera with a fairly inexpensive teleprompter attachment, a little ring light, you know, the same that everyone else uses and uh, just a little focus trick there for, for getting the focus right. Also, you'll notice I've got some tape on the floor here. I'm not sure you can see that. Ooh, getting tangled in the wires here. But that little blue tape there is uh, intended to kind of mark my spot there after I get the the focus dialed in. Let's move over to my office and uh, see where most of the recording actually happens. So here is my office where all those videos you see of me uh, typing at a computer or talking over slides is, is going on. And you know, I just have a little, little area here, uh, pretty standard office setup, a little monitor, keyboard, the usual stuff. And also we have my microphone. So when I'm recording, we just kind of stick the microphone over here in front of me. That is a Shure SM7B microphone. Let's see if I can catch it there. There we go. And uh, yeah, I really like this one. It goes through, it's a little bit tricky to use with a computer because you have to put it through what's called a cloud lifter device that's down here on the floor somewhere. And that in turn goes to a device that converts it from analog XLR to USB to the computer called a blue icicle that I'm using for that. So. That's what it looks like from my perspective, just a microphone on a boom arm. And that boom arm is important for getting the uh, distance to, from me to the microphone just right and making it sound its best. And that's almost all there is to it really. So the other, other trick is when I do green screen stuff, right? So a lot of times when I'm recording in front of the computer, you don't see this ugly background here with my uh, open closet full of AV junk and uh, whatever else is back there. Um, there is, however, some acoustical treatment, by the way, on the walls for what good it does. It's still kind of echoey in here. It's not perfect, but hey, it helps. Uh, but instead, uh, I do have a green screen setup. So here in the bowels of my junk closet, uh, we have all sorts of gear, lots and lots of um, lighting stands and whatnot. One of them has a little clip on it. If you can see that. And that clip just hooks onto my pop-up green screen. So. Over here, we have some little uh, zip-up containers here for a pop-out green screen. I have green, blue, gray, all sorts of stuff, but um, green is the one that I use most often. And also, I have a green blanket to match it in here somewhere. 
Uh, take my word for it. It's in that mess someplace. Basically what I do is I pop the green screen behind my chair here and then I also have to drape that uh, side table with a green cloth as well so that also disappears from the view there when I'm doing green screen stuff. Lighting it is kind of tricky. Um, so, you know, we do have some of these pop-up, um, see if I can drag one out here. These are little battery powered lighting units and uh, it takes a couple of these to get smooth lighting on the green screen behind me and kind of get rid of the shadows that I'm casting on the green screen. So. Pretty tricky to do green st green stuff still. I try to avoid it when I can, honestly, because it's really hard to get it right. Uh, but sometimes it's a nice effect. So that is the uh, behind the scenes of Sundog Education. It's just my house, guys. It's just my office. So uh, most of the action happens here in my office. And for the occasional introductory video or whatnot, you'll see me over here in the library uh, trying to look smug against a bunch of smart looking books. But um, Again, they're not all that smart, really. They're just a lot of uh, science fiction stuff for the most part. <laughs> all right, so I hope that was fun for you guys, and uh, we'll do this again next time. Uh, yeah, we're just trying to do a little bit more of the uh, informal stuff here, kind of filling you in on what's happening with Sundog Education and give you a little peek into what goes on here behind the scenes. Um, got some feedback on the first video we did last week. We kind of did a recap of some student success stories and news of new courses that we were launching and whatnot. Uh, the one comment we got in that video was just someone being upset that I was being too salesy and pushing my product. So I did not push a single product this time, guys. How about that? All right, Frank Kane guys here. Happy learning. And uh, again, thanks for having me along on your learning journey.